fear is essential in this truth. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to do a quick lesson, real quick, coming back at you with a le uh, another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know. A all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, fear. Now, when I say fear is essential in this truth, I mean fear towards Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, the true name of the Heavenly Father, and fear towards His Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Fear towards those two beings are essential in this truth. And the reason why I say that is because fear, yeah, and you know, by the way, look up that word essential, okay? When you look up, okay, well, you know what? Let's just do it. I know, I, I already know the meaning, the meaning of it, but for edification, let's look it up. Essential. Let's look up, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's look up the word, man, just a moment. I'm, 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 on, I'm on my phone, so. Yes, essential definition. Okay, absolutely necessary or extremely important. Okay. Down here in nouns, it says of a thing absolutely necessary. Now, I looked it up somewhere else before. I can't remember the website, but, but it literally means vitally important. So fear is absolutely necessary. Okay. Fear is in extremely important in this truth. Okay, fear, fear towards Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is extremely important in this truth, okay? And a matter of fact, fear is gonna be your gas in this truth. That's that 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 that's like your fuel, your 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 gas. That that's your oil. That 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 is a part of your power source. That's what drives you to, to continue to go out on the highways and hedges. That's what drives you to, to, to uh, continue to pay your tights. That's what drives you to be humble when you get rebuked. That's what drives you to, 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 um, to study, to do lessons. Because if you don't do those things, well, guess what? You're afraid of, of, you're afraid of, of what the Lord can do, right? Fear drives you to keep the Sabbath the, the uh, correct way. Fear drives you to be brotherly. And, and by the way, when I say fear, I'm speaking of, 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 of uh, all the things. When I say fear, I'm speaking of fear towards Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Bashem, in the name, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, uh, uh, he, he is the Savior, okay? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he exists. Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior. So fear towards the Heavenly Father and His Son will drive you. Well, okay, fear towards the Heavenly Father will drive you not to eat pork. Okay? Fear towards the Heavenly Father will drive you not to commit adultery or murder. You know? Fear will drive you to do the right thing. 
veer towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah will drive you to do the right thing, okay? What distinguish the elect from the rest of the world is the fact that they fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And because of that fear, they have made themselves holy, separate from the world. So fear is essential in this truth. Now, I have a couple of scriptures here concerning fear. Uh, let me just go back to Google here. Okay, I have a couple of scriptures here concerning fear. Okay, check this out. Genesis chapter nine, verse two. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth. So guess what? During the time of Adam and Eve, the beast of the earth used to fear us. That that prevented them from what? From 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 trying to consume us, eat us, do harm to us. Okay. And and even in even in in uh, today's time, you you still see some of the fear uh, of the animals. Uh, 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 you still see some. You you can still see how some of these animals. Afraid of us, okay? You walk up to a squirrel. What happens? You know, he 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 runs away. He does everything he can to elude you. Same thing with cats, okay? You walk up to a flock of birds. They either scatter or 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 they walk away from you. Okay. Now there are some animals that that do not fear you such as, you know, dogs, lions, wolves, you know. But but rather if you believe it or not, even an animal, it, I mean, rather if you believe it or not, even the lions used to fear us, okay? <laughs> the dogs used to fear us. The wolves used to fear us. But because uh, of the uh, curses, they no longer fear us. But in the kingdom of heaven, even they're going to go back to fearing us. Okay. So, so, so you see how powerful fear is. When there's fear, there's discipline, and there is order. Okay. Look up that word discipline. Okay. In which. Uh, well, I'll just go out and say it. Discipline, discipline is uh, the, the the meaning of discipline is, is is when you is when you teach somebody the rules through pain. Okay, you teach somebody to 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 obey the rules through pain, or or discipline is when you teach yourself to obey the, obey the rules through pain. So, <coughs> if you fear something, right, you're, you're not gonna do it because you're afraid of, of, of uh, what might happen to you, right? So, let's move on to the next verse. I don't know. I don't even know why that's there. No, go back. Okay. Let's let's let's, let's go somewhere else. Okay. Let's get something else here. Just a moment, okay. I would prefer to go to the book of Proverbs here. Let's go to Proverbs. Oh, you know what? Job got some. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, check this out. This is the book of Job chapter 37 verse 24 it said man do therefore fear him he respecteth not any 
that are wise of heart. Okay, so so the most high do not respect any who are wise at heart. Because you can be wise at many things, you know. You got you got scientists who are wise, you know. They're, they're, they're wise at uh at uh, creating viruses, diseases that, that, that can kill you. You see? So so uh, you know the, the the Lord do not respect just any old person who's wise, you know. You got sodomites who are wise, you know. You know, you got pedophiles who are wise. You got adulterers who are wise. You got incest, people who commit incest who are wise. Like, you see what I mean? So, just because you're wise does not mean the Lord have respect to you. You know, you have to be wise according to how the Lord told you to be wise, which would be according to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Okay? But the key point is that it said men therefore do fear him. Yeah, men do fear the Lord. So if you fear the Lord, right, you're not going to just be out there just doing any old thing. You're not going to commit wickedness or sin behind closed doors, you know. Even even when when you're not around brothers, you know, you're, you're still fighting to be righteous to the best of your ability. Why? Because you fear the Lord. <laughs> okay. Psalms chapter 9 verse 20. It says, put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Right? So that's actually going to happen, right? The Lord is going to put these nations in fear. Okay? And guess what? Through through that fear, work of what? Obedience. So people are not only going to fear the Heavenly Father, but they're also going to obey Him. Excuse me, okay? I'll get one more verse and then close it out. Okay, Psalms chapter 25 verse 12, check this out. What man is he that feared the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that shall that, that he shall choose, right? Because like it tells you in Proverbs, the first chapter, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. What is wisdom? The knowledge and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. That is wisdom. Okay? Precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a, here a little, there a little. Okay, so, so, um, <coughs> <coughs> when, when you have knowledge of the Holy Scriptures, you know, you learn, you learn of, of what you need, you, you learn of the things that are displeasing to the Heavenly Father and the Son, and you learn of the things that are pleasing to the Heavenly Father and the Son, you see? So what man is he that feareth Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai? Well, he's of the elect, okay? He's of the elect, and he's basically going to do his best not to sin against the Lord, okay? He's going he's to do his best not to sin against the Lord. He's going to do his best to be brotherly, to pay his tithes, to fast, to pray for, you know, not only for himself, but also to pray for other brothers, you know? And when he prays, He's not going to pray to other gods. He's going to pray in the name of Yahweh Bashum Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> you see? So, 
fear is very essential in this truth you know it's 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 fear is a part of what drives us to keep moving forward when i say us i mean those who are truly hoping to be of the lord's elect you see so with that i hope this was edifying to you sincere brothers out there and you know you uh sincere sisters with that i'm gonna say shalom is on to the next one